yo, you have big fish in a small pond. It's like, these people don't want the smoke. This is why they are not opening up our markets to us. But we're so quickly opening up our markets to them. To them. Yes, because we are a threat. Mm. But once we keep crashing all of the structures that we try to put to a point where even industry and corporates can start realizing that we're serious and start pumping money into us so that we can start building our parents' homes. And homes, whatever. yeah. But like you like South Africa and Nigerians, they won't. Clearly, they are not doing it. Yes, city right now. The girl gon' get it right now. I'm the man in Gap City right now. If you knew what I done, so tell me what it is right now. What it do, what's happening, what's bumming YouTube, it's your boy Eyes of Brandon. We back in with another episode. Shit. Yeah, it's man. been a minute. It's been a minute, dog. It's been a minute. I'm so sorry, but, you know, like, it's just time just for us to just make the content, man. And I'm here yeah. with the OG, my first guest. Shit, yeah, man. man. I don't even know how to introduce this man here because this guy, man, he's he's such an extraordinary, like, he's such, like, a hero. He's such, like, a, yeah. man, like, this is somebody that I love. Okay, from from when I was fucking four years old, five years old, dog. Like damn, I, I'm that old, <laughs> man. Like dog, I was listening to this guy's music when I was okay. like my uncles were still going to junior school and then like and like fucking high school, dog. And and age, dog. Like it's honestly what? for me, I'm kind of starstruck, man. Ah, like, big up, papa. Bless up, bless. bless I'm up. honestly starstruck, man, because like yo, man. Like honestly, like I said, like you're here to many, myself included, man. So, Bless so, up. so, man. Shout out, for, shout out to you for coming here, first of all. Bless up. Um, and before we get on with the episode, um, I'd like to um say, I understand today is your son's birthday. Yeah, 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 hey. yeah, 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 yeah it's yeah, the yeah. man's birthday. Yeah, yeah nah, shout out, sh- shout out to Adrian, yeah, right? man. Happy birthday, papa. Yeah, yeah, and nah, shout out to Adrian. He's yeah. how many years? Twelve years. Um, he's twelve years old today. Nah, nah, shout out, and uh, yeah, becoming a man. Dog. Becoming a man, yeah. Dog. Hey, Shven. and like, how's that journey for you? Like the fatherhood journey for you? How's it? How's been? Uh, how's it been? It's a bit complicated on on my end. Yeah. You know, um, I don't get to see him. Um, no. you know. Uh, it's one of those things like uh, yeah. you know, growing up more more It's yeah. I'm not the only one who goes through something like shit like that. Like, yeah, and yeah, yeah, there's yeah. A, there's a bunch of dudes out here. I mean, BJB is about to learn. <laughs> 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 but I'm, I'm just saying, you know, it's um, it's something that a lot of brothers go through. But like on a serious note, guys are are going through a lot of uh, uh, stress about that, not being able to see their kids. But yeah. you know, we celebrate what we can celebrate. Yeah, no, yeah no, even if it's sure. from a distance. Ultimately, God willing, we'll be able to like be closer the next for birthday. Sure, yeah, man. Sure. Yeah, nah. Sh- shout out to you, man. And, yeah, man. And man, th- and thank you for being strong. You know, yeah. thank you for being strong for the for like all of us. You know, people that yeah. actually look up to you like that, and 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 sure. like being strong for your son as, as well. Like like we need heroes like you. Man. Shout up, out to you, man. Shout out to you, man. Bless up. Um, yo, dog. Just uh, like when I hit up when I hit you up for this interview, I was I was um listening to happy hours man yeah, man. happy hour yeah man and uh and like w- w- when did that um album drop by the way um we dropped it in uh we, we dropped the first single i think in 2006 yeah and uh yeah the the rest which of it was at the end which was me taller i think taller was the first one. first one yeah and then we, we we dropped the actual album by the end of 2006 so uh yeah, that's around the time when Mr. Doe got nominated and he yeah, won oh. a Channel O Award. Yeah. And I actually got to, to travel with him. So by the time, you know, that came out, yeah. we were going to place the music. You place know? the music. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah. So it was around 2006, 2007. Speaking of placing music, yeah, man. Um, back then it was different, though. Yeah. Back yeah. then it was different. And yeah. and I feel like maybe like in some what way yeah, um uh, 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 it's kind of you know it's kind of easier for you know musicians to actually put out mu- music now like no, yeah. not not to say like w- what they're doing is probably like being uh, um 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 what belittled or, or or like in what sense but yeah. but um back then i think it was kind of difficult you know yeah, what I mean? it was like i want you to take us through like that journey like as far as as far as the, just like the music yeah. Is concerned, and then just, just like distributing the shandies. Um, that thing was like, uh, we, we found Eric Ramko. We yeah. were lucky because Eric was already doing it. Yeah. And then what then happened was that um, th- 
through um, Mampizi yeah. dropping his first. first yeah. He dropped um, Kasi, it wasn't Kasi Angels, nearly Introduction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah the yeah. one with Pompa Tweet. Yeah, yeah. So what then happened was that he knew this other brother, Rati Douglas, Kataman, uh, Daggy, yeah. Robert Daggy. Yeah. So Daggy had signed people, uh, Babu Disco, mm. and there was a couple of Kwasa Kwasa groups in yeah, there. Yeah. So he had like his own channels. Like he had like links with. Um, with, with people who sold music in the, in their stores and whatever. So when Mampizi uh, dropped the introduction one, he was able to get into Daggy's uh, little system. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. even then, even when the Chinese homies started showing up, yeah. and they opened shop everywhere, mm. Daggy had a, like a little special relationship with them. Mm. But not everyone could get into that network, mm. like, except like Eric Ramko had Kostar Ring. So Kostar Ring was not only, uh, yeah, it wasn't only in the main mall, yeah. but he also had uh, a little uh, link up with other uh, these Chinese stores yeah. selling South African tapes. Yeah, yeah. So when he eventually started releasing his own music, they had those portals. Oh. But, but what was crazy about like that was that like, you know, when you sell your music to the Chinese people, um, the Chinese stores, um, they don't take in bulk like they'll take Franco. Franco. Oh, I remember so I went to, to like my womb and they took like 10 CD, 10 tapes. You lie. And they didn't even pay me for it. So I had to like drop off 10. I'm thinking my PZ was dropping off like 100, you know, dropping wow. off 200 because of also they play your music like in the, in the at the front door. Wow. So it was like they had to see something yeah. that was already selling a so, lot of the time. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so... Yeah. The distribution network was just fucked up. I, think I can cuss again. Yeah, it yeah, was nah, bull nah, crap, nah, man. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, like, yeah. yeah. So when you see now where people can be able to like, then you don't need that, that much. You just put it up online, yeah. and if it's hard and people fuck with it, yeah. then they get it. But get it, yeah. Then it was like physically getting on a bus, going over to my room, trying room, to yeah. drop off tapes. Guys, say give me ten, and you're like, all right, I'll drop off these ten. But even the amount of money you get from that ten is not yeah. enough to. Travel to fucking my womb. Travel. Oh, You're like, what the hell, man? You know what? Keep those tapes. <laughs> as long as someone, someone can buy it and, you know, I can get a booking, keep that shit, man. I'm not coming back for my womb for, for what, a grand. Come on. Keep a guy on an idea. Yeah. It'll be an LD tape. So it was like, what, 30, 40 bucks each? Wow. Yeah, no, so, yeah, no, I think I remember. Yeah, no, I think I'm I remember. Not going like, back <laughs> then. No, 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 no. So. And like, how much was going to my own back then? Ah, I need about three clips. I'm sure I need about two hundred or something. Right, so right. it wasn't even. I don't know. Like, it wasn't it really wasn't worth it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, when you come to think of it, but like when we started getting the bookings, yeah. because some people were buying them up yeah, there. Yeah, how, hey, how, the Francis yeah. Towns, Francis the, the Rancis. Yeah. You know, we were now start to, to catch fire because happen. I was lucky enough to know my PZ. Yeah. So being close to him, his music caught on just like caught that on, yeah, yeah. immediately. So mm. I, I was lucky enough to have known him since school. School, yeah. yeah. So in, 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 in high school, I, I'd known him. He was like always a, an older brother. Yeah. And Eric has the, so, yeah. the, you know, we were of, we were built for it. Yeah. Literally. Sure, literally. Yeah. Yeah. So we stayed trying to find better ways oh. of trying to get our music out there. And slowly but surely, but when I fucked with it, so I guess that's why, you know. How long did it actually take for you to actually start harvesting like the end results of you actually placing that music like that? Out there when like when that? we started getting shows, I mean, Easy B was one of the first people. Easy B? Hey, the OG? Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know why people keep dissing him. Because this nigga, <laughs> he put us on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, we wouldn't even have um, uh, uh, urban youth music um, being yeah. performed yeah. in the clubs if it wasn't for him because what people used to do in Gabs yeah. is that, you know, they've just book DJs mm. and then the DJ comes and sets up and Easy was the first one to actually put on a mic because he heard by my people mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. Bostagas, it gets crazy mm -hmm. on the radio and he thought, yo, someone might want to see these see, people. See these guys, yeah, yeah. And Lionel Bonobo 5 Clipper at first, <laughs> you know, um, it was okay. And Ili, 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 Ili. Booking fee. It wasn't even a booking fee. It was like, hold that. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, it wasn't like, you didn't even know what to expect from it. I mean, yeah. Staga was the one who was rolling with Bissau, and they already had BMs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, yeah so they like were already <laughs> coating. It was <laughs> like, we really don't yeah. need to be doing this shit, but they know how to They hustle. never had the image yet. They had the image, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. they knew how to get money. Yeah, yeah. Oh, snap. We were just trying to rap, yeah. and we were just getting popular and popular. Mm. And like, that's why I'm saying my piece is an important part of it, because his cousins with Bissau, and he'd been working at Bissau's car wash. Mm. He knows about money. Uh -huh. yeah, so oh, he shit. knows... 
he knew this was an exchange. Yeah, yeah. So ultimately, yeah. when some of us, it was it was always about the passion, passion, passion. Mm. I mean, I was running around with these battle MCs, but I was here running around with this Timberland wearing quite to dancing nigga, <laughs> you know. And at the same time, I'm getting I, I'm getting game from him, <laughs> but I'm uh, I'm getting this hip hop from these yeah. niggas. I'm, I mean, from all of these rap niggas, none of them were figuring out why is this nigga actually starting to make bread. Because I was with this nigga. And this nigga has always been about money. Always. Yeah, like my PZ was, I'm talking about 300,000, what, 3,000 bucks underneath his mattress and my boy from five and whatever, wow. you know? He's always been about wow. hustling. He, so this music shit was like part of the hustle, wow. but he's all about getting bread. Shit. So that's why I was like, I, I had like the best of both worlds and that like I was able to, to harness my craft, but also wow. keep game from, from home, you know what I mean? Like in terms of music, dog, yeah. there's somebody called Press Beats. Presley, man. <laughs> man, the OG, man. Yeah, man. The yeah. OG. Yeah, man. Tell me how that guy played a role in like um happy hours and and um an illegal act as well, you know. Dog, because yeah. like I heard you mention him like a couple of times in like the 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 the, 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 the like the whole project. Yeah, man. Um, he produced most of it. You yeah, know, if not yeah. all of it, him and Goof. Yeah. Um, that that people that I met uh, back in the day on the go go I my mom used to drop me off there during holidays and whatever. Yeah. And I'd literally be making music with Presley all day. Yeah. Eat lunch, make more music. Make music. She comes from from work. She comes yeah. picks me up. So that's what, what. And you know, even during other weekdays, I'd be hanging out with like I'm saying with my PZ and whatever. But like yeah. every other day, I'm with in Presley. the studio yeah. with Presley from yeah. programming music to. Um, recording hand claps, mm. oh my chesa. Oh, you know, like I, I was in the. I loved the the process, yeah. you know. So I was always a, a studio rat to some extent. Yeah. So that's how I got to learn how to, you know, make better songs. Better songs. Yeah. Yeah. And how to, you know, and with Presley as well. Like that's how we're able to like create our own um our, our own identity to some extent. Yeah. Because we stayed in there and yeah. we we did have influences. But we were able to see what we were good at. Like mm. my people, the beat I'd heard two years before I actually mm. even recorded it. You know, so we knew like what we were what we were ultimately trying to do. So Presley is is one oh, of the most gifted people on this planet. Wow. You know, and, and very diverse. Yeah. He 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 plays everything from traditional to quieto to literally, all of it. Li literally everything. I everything. know. Everything. You know, Kanto so, was he hey, I'm sorry if I if I sound <laughs> misinformed from no this question. Ask, <laughs> this is what we're like, was here. he a part of um um third mind? Third mind. Yeah, he was part of third mind. <laughs> they were the, the 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 first group we saw um <laughs> do hip hop like that. Little when we were younger, the, the the rhymes. I mean, the rhymes weren't that dope. And this is where I saw <laughs> there was a window, you know. Hey, hey. and Presley was a, a very influential in me yeah. being able to write lyrics because yeah. that was pretty much something that was also missing in what they wanted to do going yeah. forward. Yeah. And here's this guy who just likes writing all the time. Uh, yeah, so it's, yeah, let's yeah, teach yeah. him how to make songs and and, and make songs yeah. and make bangers. And little on there, that's they were very instrumental in yeah. in my artist development, and which is what we. We lack a lot uh, these days. Uh, uh, artist development. You know, you make a song and it jumps off and then you go drop it off at the radio station. Uh, but you don't know what you're supposed to do from then on uh, to try and uh, and 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 well, well, uh, you just think, all right, cool, it's playing on the radio. Mm. I've gotten these two shows, three shows. Mm. You know, and you haven't really been developed enough to mm. know what's supposed to be next and how you can actually uh, capitalize on whatever hype you already built, you know, so. I think you had to really have a trajectory, hey, basically. Hey, yeah. just to learn some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, no, so sure. just know the business that you're getting into, yeah. at least before you just, you know, like throw yourself in there, you know. So for they sure. were very instrumental in, in helping me for and for do that. And it, was, it wasn't like it was planned. Yeah. Yeah, it was yeah. just... You know, some demo dog. I mean, shout out to you for that. <laughs> you know? I mean, shout out to you for that, for that, for that. Um, I uh, again piece of art, man. Like yeah. that, that, that. One of music gole, bro. Let me just tell you, like, a little, <laughs> you, you know, thing about it. Music gole, it's literally what we need to be selling to, like, the international stage, dog. Like, yeah. even as it is now, yeah, like, it's literally what, like, yeah. it, it literally has haborone or 
Botswana lifestyle written all over it. Dog. So so shit. That music carries our identity. It's authentic. It's it's real, dog. It's and hey man. Hey, sh- <laughs> shout out to you for that. Ah, bless team, up, man. bless up. Shout out to you for that. Um, but also, um, let, let's take it, you know, like a little notch higher. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, there was a point, man. Hey, man, I was kind of disappointed, yeah. like in the both of you, man. Yeah. Um, it was you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. It was you and Main Dealer. Hey, oh, shit. Ah, yeah. man. It was just like this back and forth. Hey, brah, oh man, I lady, lady, they're not talking about brah. Oh, talk, what did you do? What was happening there, man? Like I yeah. just didn't like, cause like, kind of that that time. This was when Fairy Game was starting to to like you know like it was popping off, popping off, and and like you know like I loved Dilla, yeah. I loved you as well, and I was yeah. just like, come on, man, how can these niggas do this to me right now? <laughs> <laughs> what was really the issue there? Um, with Dilla. Hey. Uh, you know, with Dilla, it was it, it was it pretty much was a, my fault. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was my fault yeah. because um, initially what I put up uh, on on online was um, I, I really hope like these um, younger artists, Barona, mm. Mm. are not out there um, giving up their their sisters mm. to these South African artists in mm. hotel rooms and whatever, yeah. and. The exchange numbers, you know, yeah. but it's all about to be this and then you know, mm. and and they caught it because he's not dumb. Oh, <laughs> 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 I tried to deny it, you know. I tried to act like I wasn't talking about them, talking about them, but yeah. I knew I was talking about them. Yeah, yeah. Hey, because I didn't want them to make the same mistakes Mistake. that I've done. Wow. And I, I should have gone to them and told them, yo, stop this shit. But they probably, I don't know if they were going to listen, but the, now having known them better, you know, yeah. the kid, like, like blind, blind, blind. I've been making music with Busy. Mm. Uh, Dele sent me. I replied, I don't know what I'm saying. And they wouldn't have listened if yeah. I had you know, not been a bitch about it and yeah. gone to social media. Social media, media like she spoke about And it. spoke on it. Oh, and, yeah. you know, I think no one was going to catch on to it. But, you know, uh, after that, we have talked about it. Yeah. People beating him up, I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> I wanted to ask you about that. Um, I, um, I mean, I went to <laughs> school. I went to school <laughs> with his older sister. <laughs> I went blind because yeah. also he's talented. Yeah. You know, I, it was those block five niggas. They had their own issues with him. Uh, and man. by and by, and which is one thing saying about how when people actually st- end up catching strays, because we do have fans out there. Who, fans out there, like who actually gonna, ride for you, yeah. But Balibone, I think Dilawa is again as a robolele. Again as a Again as a So if he, if, 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 if you know the next person ask that question, get them right here. Nelson Mandela. He he'll tell you what happened because. I had nothing to do with it, <laughs> and uh, yeah, then that's my word. Yeah, no, 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 no. no, no. Hey, we're no, talking no, 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 no. Hey, we're talking we're really, really awesome. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. He's one of the the the, the, the artists by what I really, really respect because mm. his musical palette, hey, mm. hey, hey, through, through. Like mm. every single time he drops something, it's always got like some some difference to it and mm. some elevation from where he was. So. Even um, artistically, you know, uh, the aesthetics is a Yeah, no, you know, man. He's a very visual nigga, you know. So I, I really appreciate that about him. And it's always good to see him get back in the damn studio. Get back in the damn studio. Uh, I know. Yeah, so I know, but he's teasing an album. But he's teasing an album. So, so, hey, so, so, no. So, so I think until he doesn't feel like it. <laughs> How are you going to so, be on the album, though? I think they're getting somewhere with, with Busy. But like I'm saying, oh, we were talking on, on the right, phone man. about trying to put something on, on what he's working on. Oh, so I think um, they're deep into it. I mean, yeah. I see them on these WhatsApp statuses. You know, they're always setting up. Mm. They take the studio wherever they're at. So mm. it looks like they're working on something. So it should be a really great summer. Uh, I remember the first time you came across our YouTube channel, me yeah. and C4. Yeah, man. <laughs> C4! <laughs> and, you talked about, <laughs> and you talked about how, you know, how we're dope yeah, man. and how you want to have us on, like, on... Or like the breakfast show you're hosting then, yeah, man, and like how you talked about how you know, I think you're like, how oh, I don't care whether these niggas have once talked shit about me, I, I think like I just want to have them on the show and whatever, and whatever. <laughs> and I was like, and I was like, hey, man, I'm brown, I got to run with you on a toxic, toxic relationship, no social media, I'm around there. Can't talk about it, man. What has that been about, like the whole thing? Because I know that you have always had a 
even Twitter, dog. Even 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 like Yeah. Yeah. They are a back then. It was it was a problem. No, because these, there's a lot of these people that are delusional. Yeah. You know, not, not, some of these people haven't done shit. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. a lot of the time they have an opinion on shit that they know nothing about. And I'm just sometimes trying to say my piece. See, and see, yeah. I'm not trying to go back and forth with a lot of them because, mm. you know, that's why I want to block button. It's just because <laughs> I know what I've been able to do. I want to in in this uh, 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 industry. Uh, in the, uh, hey, it's a very infant industry. But I think I know a thing or two about what what the true essence of what this th- this thing is mm. because i've seen it over the past 15 plus years mm. where it was non-existent people mm. couldn't uh, just be musicians yeah, yeah, yeah. especially people between the ages of 25 to 35 yeah. you couldn't just say i'm a musician i'm waking up you didn't have hensies and shit you didn't have uh, uh artists and yeah, shit. you yeah, know yeah. people who literally wake up you see, right now what we're doing, content and shit. Content, yeah, 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 there wasn't none of this shit was around at shit. any at one point. Yeah. So first of all, I appreciate mm. that we are at this level. Uh, at this try level, yeah. and understand what it is, so that when you try and take it to the next level, you know what the fuck you're fucking with. You know, For because sure. I feel a lot of people, um, and much of what I'm saying, when worry, just to, to being a studio rat and you're an artist development, mm. help me to get some longevity. Mm. You 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 have to understand what you're stepping into because it's not only only about you mm. you know uh, because you, you know the fans do come out and support mm. but there is a structure you know what we're trying to build we have arts councils popping mm. up mm. we have cost bots is popping up none of these things were there when some of us started <laughs> so these things yeah. are here because we fucking created Great. a situation yeah. hey mm. and mm. i am part of that i'm probably gonna say it more pompously than anyone else because broadcaster and i talk shit yeah. so I'm, I'm 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 gonna talk about it because we can't act there wouldn't be a cause bot if we weren't <laughs> out here making good music, good music that people yeah. put on the radio there wouldn't be quotas yeah. they wouldn't be there wouldn't be a lot of shit so yeah. we put the shit to this point point yeah don't fuck it up shit. that's all i'm trying to say and that's why all the time it f- it feels personal in that you know People don't, even if you're going to get into the, 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 the music space, mm. I'm not trying to say suck my dick or anything, you know. No, yeah. Don't suck up to me. Mm. But at least appreciate, if you're going to be doing something, don't lie to, 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 to the public mm. because you're going to put it all on us. Mm. Mm. The way you look out there, if, mm-hmm. if you don't show up for gigs, mm. um, if, you know, if you're in, indecent, you 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 mm. you mm. It's a reflection of it. All of us yeah. get it. Mm. And like I'm saying, just respect the craft enough to know that it's people who eat off this thing. And don't just be crapping on it. And even if you are good and people do respond to you, don't crap on them. All Rampa calls it an arrival syndrome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People yeah, yeah. don't respond to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
every time something goes, goes yeah. we build a lago dumrakon. We will never be able to like surpass. Even South Africans, there's a lot of intimidation that comes from us, mm. which is why Botswana go in there and hide the identity until you know they retire like fresh you know <laughs> niggas didn't know <laughs> now he's fresh. got that guap now i can tell him it's like yeah you can tell him that I'm from yeah. <laughs> so that's why but we got to hide right one because like, <laughs> niggas don't want the smoke like is this why you you you, you now when the william uh, uh, i think th- this is when chris bond posted his video on his instagram yeah and, and like you talked about how um yeah. <laughs> yeah, and South Africans should run with him and and us but should just let him run with yeah, yeah, South Africa. Yeah, yeah. Out of a flash. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. Let's right. play that game, mm-hmm. my nigga. Right. Well, one. Well, yeah. well, hey, not like, well, what's the reason why you actually that you actually <laughs> said that? Because I'm trying to uh, yeah. Because the the minute they realize it's you, they, they will blacklist you. you. Oh. There was a whole hype around Shona Ferguson and how Ferguson films is getting all of these uh, 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 movie de- these um, these contracts to Contra- be doing yeah, these yeah, yeah. and whatever it, yeah. you know and it was coming from uh, a certain faction within the South African industry mm. which has that thing I want to go you know what I know who is that because he was probably yeah. doing it yeah, yeah, but yeah. because I guess old lady is a, is a veteran that side yeah 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 so for sure, let's see, see it's, thing. But yes, it's, it's yeah. always that I mean how many artists my nigga we have so many Batwana working within SA's entertainment industry that cannot say that the Batwana because they wow. will start feeling the difference. Wow. Hey. Wow. And this is not to say uh, anything like I hate SA. I love South Africa, but I love Botswana more. And which is why I'm always saying, well, Lord, I would rather we just, you know, surpass all of them. Get to Kenya, you know, Kenya. get to Tanzania. There's a there's a whole even the UK. Array of places. Yeah. There's a whole array of places, but we need to like for how much you've sweated like it's 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 you know and like it's the least you could get yeah and but one can come and support us if you know if we we keep upgrading and looking a certain way because mm. even the wages man like the the way having a bargaining uh, committee of some sort mm. so that we have um cut the king which is what I thought Bombo would be doing. Um, only a minimum amount, you know, for um, a, a percussionist, mm-hmm. a oh, drama, oh, oh, uh, oh. A, a session artist in a studio, a studio, mm. just and build our structures mm. to a point where we professionalize so many of our shit mm. that no one can start saying, hey, I'm going to be that serious, man. It's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm writing these damn rhymes, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> I heard you talk about uh, Cosbots, dog. Yeah. How is your relationship with Cosbots, dog? Are you are you are you are you good with them? No, I'm, I saw this CEO <laughs> the other day. Lizibo is trying to create some sort of peace because Zibo man is that type of nigga. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So he's yeah. he's trying to create some sort sort of peace, but like, you know, they need to take the radio stations to task. It's yeah. really not uh, their fault. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It's the radio station's fault. Mm. I can easily say that because I'm not on the radio anymore. Mm. But like. Uh, the, that's another reason I got in trouble because they went and they were complaining to management about me, mm-hmm. and oh. they were literally threatening to, to 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 sue management for the amount that management owes them. So it mm-hmm. was pretty much, hey, like the, yeah, what about, hey, it's yeah, always yeah. a lot. I, I don't mm-hmm. know if any of this stuff will get me sued sometimes, <laughs> but like I'm always trying to tell people the truth because, you know, there was a meeting. I did see a letter that came from Bokus Botswana. Yo, like the else who buy a car on a car, like it's all Oh shit. Yeah. So. All of these radio stations, about all of the cosbots, and on top of that, they're still not playing our music more than they play those other people. Uh, other people. So we need to petition radio stations now. Like, is this where artists get paid like nah, the three bullet fifty for songs? Dog? But that's the thing. That money could be way more if people played that position. If the oh. music compilers actually gave priority to local music and rotated it, I'm telling you, if you go to any of these African countries, they literally play their own music first because they know what they're bringing money. Back to that dude. To the dudes. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. and even the radio, the, 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 it's it's about that. It's the ecosystem, yati, and the DJs play that dude's music at the things because the level of the shows will get better. Yeah, yeah. So, how many house DJs do you see here playing each other? Chef Gustos is playing himself. Um, it, it, well, Thomas Chulume is not a DJ, but like. People are playing themselves. No themselves, one ever yeah. tries to get Govea's track. Try mm, to. Mm. They're not even trying to play each other. Mm. Who's gonna play you if you don't play other niggas? 
You know, so even with the hip hop DJs, uh, keep you doing TTP. How many of these DJs by by Jalabon in that set? Like, do you even have local artists sending out DJ packs to artists? They do. They do send out. We send out DJ packs. We yeah. send out instrumentals. Kona the group unyani te duwa na na kore like ko send you a motor house. Marita think you put that because cops tries to help me out with that. But like, you know, people do send out DJ packs. I don't know why people don't play each other's music here. I'd be lying. King, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna make it. No, guys are just. I'm on a ratan like that. A ratan. Hey, a ratan. What the water? Water. 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 And I'm just sometimes trying to say my piece. Say, and say, yeah. I'm not trying to go back and forth with a lot of them. Because, mm. you know, that's why I'm going to have the block button. It's just because <laughs> I know what I've been able to do. I want to cry. In this industry. It's a very infant industry. But I think I know a thing or two about what...